Hi and welcome to downloading Panasonic's free editing programs and the advanced user's manual for the Lumex FZ2000, FZ2500, FZ H1. And if you look down here, this is downloading software. You can actually see what you can download. And there I'm underlining what you want to paste, copy paste there. That's the link for the Panasonic user's manual. It comes down as a PDF file and you can keep it on your computer to use as and when you require. And this is one of the things you get is a silky fit, the silky picks developer studio SE. And there's the link for that one. I'll show them later on as I go through the video and what you get for your downloads. Well worth doing. This is how to transfer images to a PC using HDMI. Some people like to do this onto the laptop or, or whatever. I prefer using my SD card in the camera. This is copying to a PC without using Photo Studio and how to do it. I should think most of you know this. And then on to saving still pictures and motion pictures on a recorder. And printing your pictures, which you can do via Wi-Fi. I've got a page up on the Wi-Fi, so you could try that. Don't do it with 4K, it'll take till Christmas time next year. And this is your different settings for printing. And we're going to pick up that address and I've put it, so you can put it in there in Google or you can put it up in the address bar and you can go copy, paste and then go straight to it. I'm showing you which is which. I'm going this way and then I'll just hit my return button to go through to it. But you have several ways of accessing it. I assume that you know how to copy paste links. And there it is. It's loading. You can see the bar going across the top. Bear in mind it's a lot of pages. <laughs> Don't expect to do it in half a second. I'm just enlarging it to show you. I've not speeded it up. This is the length of time it takes. And there's how you change the pages if you want to go straight to another page, which I'm typing the number in now and then hitting the return button. And that tells you how to download the different softwares. And you have the links in there. Just what I've shown you, basically. I'm going through them fast, but you, you can slow it down and pause it if you want. But the Panasonic links are pretty good, and as I say, it's free. You've already paid for the camera. You might as well use the links and the different editing suites, especially if you're going to do 4K. You can use external ones, but these are free. And that's the pages to the manual. And the, the blue markings, the numbers, are the pages that it refers to. Now this one here is all to do with the photo studio. And you can read through it, see what it does. It covers a multitude of sins. And then you have an agreement there. I don't know how many people read it. I did, it wasn't too long. I've left it up a little bit so you can read it. <laughs> and as you scroll down, you can see what's going on here and what you actually get. And you have to put in your camera number. It shows where it is there on the bottom of your camera. It's understandable. Everybody has to put in a serial number. It's usually marked with S, N. I'm underlining and pointing at it with my cursor. 
and the different uh, parts of the menu that open up for you. The manual's a godsend. It's such a big manual. It's such a big camera. It does such a lot. And even people that have been using digital cameras for years still need a little bit of assistance in which direction to go. And sometimes you mess up. And it's not the camera, but it won't do what you want. This book tells you what it doesn't work with. So if you go into Aperture Priority and expect it to do something that it needs to be in manual for, it won't do it. But you can go and look and see why it won't do it, and you've got your answers. Brilliant. <laughs> but then I like reading. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I've got friends that say if you have to read a manual, the job's too complex. <laughs> and there's your Silky Picks, the developer studio SE. You see the green button bottom left there? It just says download. That's about as technical as you have to get to download that. Just make sure you save it somewhere, like on your desktop, open a new file or folder and call it Silky Picks or Panasonic Lumix FZ2000, FZ2500, FZH1. It doesn't matter. It's so you can find these links or these pages or whatever, the manual, and open it whenever you're working on something on the camera you're not sure about. Or there's something you don't know or you don't... No one knows everything. Not even me. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of it. I hope it helped you. 344 double-sided pages in the manual if you think I'm printing it out and having it bound. I wouldn't. <laughs> I had mine done commercially. But you can see it's a heck of a lot of book. Which is why I kept putting pages up on all my different little bits of videos I listed. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If it didn't, don't give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. That's the end.